Well, now I can see everybody's <laughs> question. <laughs> uh, so Reba wanted me to mention um, burnout is real in the industry. Um, please talk to them about taking days off to write or weather days. 54% of our users do not take days off on the weekly schedule. That's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm a big advocate for days off for sure. And again, I mean, it's, it kind of goes back to that lifestyle thing. I mean, um, when you first get deployed and when they first hand you your big pile of claims, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to take a day off for probably the first two weeks. And then I'm going to take like a half day off. Um, usually you're taking Sunday morning off because people, a lot of people don't want to show up at their house on Sunday morning, um, no matter what. Um, but once you get to the point to where you're kind of, we call it riding the wave, where you, you know, you're, you get kind of into a storm for three, four, five, six, seven weeks, and you start to get, you're still getting assignments coming in, but you're able to like, you get in on like noon on a Tuesday, and then I'm gonna call them that afternoon and say, you know, because I'm, I'm gonna be closed, done with everything at the end of the day on Tuesday, I'll call those people and say, hey, I'll, I'll come to you on Wednesday tomorrow. And then I'm closing those claims on Wednesday tomorrow, and then they give me three more claims Wednesday morning, and I call those people and I do them on Thursday. So you're kind of like, you're just kind of like, as they come in, you're doing them, right? That's, you could take a whole weekend off. That's when you like having like your family come and visit if you're like near, you know, Disneyland or if you're, you know, near Mount Rushmore or whatever it is, you know, then you're, then, you know, I'm, I'm flying home, you know, for a few days because then I can just kind of let, you know, 10, 15, 20 claims pile up and then I can knock those out in three days, right, when I get back. And I just call and make my appointments and say, hey, I'll be there next Tuesday. And it's Thursday. People don't have a problem with that, especially two or three months into a storm. And it's a hailstorm. They don't know if they have hail damage or not. They're not in a huge rush. Um, so you kind of get to a point, especially on CAT, where you can kind of like, you don't have to like smash everything out and like, you know, just be running gun and staying up all night. And, you know, you can pace yourself. It's, it's important. Um, so here's my two cents worth. Of sure. That. You schedule as many as you can inspect and close day one, day two, day three, day four is off. Yeah. One, two, three, day four is off. The reason you do that is if it rains on day three, you are not going to be able to take all of those people and go see them if you have the first two weeks scheduled. Right, right. So now I'm moving somebody back two weeks that I have scheduled for today. Yep. They are not going to be happy. However, I can take that, call that third day a rain day, move them to day four. If I get to that fourth day and I'm all caught up, I can go back to somebody that I'm supposed to see two weeks from now and say, hey, can I come see you today and move them forward? You can always move people forward. You can never move people backwards. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's and so it is. it is, it is. And so that's one it's of those things. the way it is. And so without, without, and in that pre-schedule, and I think that's kind of probably what Reba was talking about. You know, when you set up, let's just say you're using the schedule it, you, every fourth day I have off. I can always fill that day. I can always do whatever I want to do. Yep. But if I, if I get a, on a storm that has heavy damage and I inspected and I scheduled four a day for three days, I'm not going to get those 12 closed. I'm not going to get them closed that night. Yeah. So I need that fourth day to catch up. I need that. Yep, yep. And that's one of those things like when I teach people, especially brand new people, and it's like that hurricane thing, like you're going to do one a day, you know, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to tell them exactly what you just said. It's like this, the calendar I've got set up for them is three days on and then a paper day, right? And it, that's, that's the kind of the buffer day. It's kind of your, like I said, if you um, if, if you get rained out on the day, you've got a place to put people. If you know you get overwhelmed, you know, or, you, or one of your appointments runs really, really long for whatever reason, or something happens, or the person needs to reschedule, they're not getting being rescheduled two two and a half weeks later. So yeah, it, it's built into the schedule for sure. And I will I'll even add like at the beginning of a storm, especially if it's the beginning of the season, I'm gonna go out the, the first probably two days, the first day at least, I'm gonna do two or three, right? Super easy softball ones, I'm gonna turn them in that night and then see what see what it gets kicked back. Matt, you forgot, to, you, you're using the wrong header. Matt, we're doing this with the, this thing, you know, the, the, the invoice is wrong, it's the old one, we gotta use, right? And so instead of turning in 
you know, t- t- scoping for three days and then turning in 12 or 15 claims and then having all those files kicked back. I'm just getting three kicked back and I can fix those really easily and then send them back in. And, and then I'm going to like kind of hit the ground, you know, to ramp it up after that and do my big production. But it's, this is like, that's an experience thing. I mean, you're going to learn not to do that <laughs> because the first time that happens, you get 15 or 25 files. I mean, it's, it's the, the Hurricane Sandy thing. People six weeks into the storm, they're going to turn in 70 claims on a Tuesday and they're going to get every single one of those claims ticked right back to them. And they're going to, I mean, that's just, why? Hey, hey, Mr. Insured, how's it going? It's going great today. How are you doing? <laughs> Good. This is actually Guy Grant from Veteran Adjusting School. So you want to learn claims from the most experienced veteran adjusters, but you can't find anybody who will let you ride along with them? Then let me tell you about Adjuster TV Plus. Developed by Adjuster TV and its industry partners, including the high-end training center Veterans Adjusting School in Arizona, Adjuster TV Plus is a growing library of in-depth training videos created just for independent adjusters. Learn scoping and estimating from professional trainers and adjusters. Learn how to handle customer interactions with confidence. Learn the ins and outs of scoping and estimating exterior hail claims. And coming soon, detailed videos about how to handle smoke, ice dam, water claims, and auto claims. Adjuster TV Plus also features the very best of three years of Adjuster TV's YouTube videos, ad-free. Educational, entertaining, and inspiring. Come ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Thank you.